Hello, this is Mr. Painter with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on IXL D15, Identify Equivalent Expressions Involving Exponents, Section Number 2. All right, uh, just a fair warning, if you did not do IXL D14, Identifying uh, Equivalent Exponents, Section 1, I would recommend you do that first before doing this one. The difference between the two, between D14 and D15, is that in this module, you'll be selecting all that applies. So you just want a little bit more work. And again, uh, I recommend doing D14 before trying this one. But if you got D14 and you're ready to go, let's go ahead and do it. All right, here we go. D15, number one, select all the expressions that are equivalent to nine over 28 over nine to the negative four. All right, what happens is when you have a negative exponent, you can switch it as a positive exponent by moving it to the top. So what we have here is nine to the 28, multiply, you're gonna take that nine to the negative four, you're gonna bring it up, nine to the positive four. And I'm gonna put over one. Now, because it's over one, we could actually just drop the fraction. And not only can we not drop the, not only can we drop the fraction, but we can also just add the exponent as well. So what we have is nine to the 28, plus four and add them up and see what happens so we got 28 plus four takes us to nine to the 32. all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go through all these and see which one is true um the first one looks great that matches perfectly the second one because it is nine to the negative 30 second on the bottom what they did is they did this so nine to the 30 second one over switcheroo nine to the negative 30 second so the second one is also correct. So again, you could switch it to the negative by moving it back to the denominator. Nine to the negative seven. I don't know where that negative seven came from. Uh, that's definitely not right. And positive nine to the 32 does not match um, the negative uh, to the 32. So no on that one. So in this case, the first two are going to be the only ones that are correct. And why are we picking two? Because what's important here is you need to select all that apply. So usually you got to pick one or more. All right. Rolling on 14 points. I'm loving it. Um, same step again. We're going to take that denominator and push it up. So what we're going to have is 4 to the 23. And 4 to the negative 1 comes up as 4 to the positive 1 over 1. But because it's on top of one, we can drop the fraction. We can call it four to the 23. And when multiplying by the same base, you can just add exponents plus one. And that's going to take us four to the 24th power. Uh, we could also do one over, put a negative in front, positive four, negative 24. I just did that because somehow I think that might pop up. So let's just prepare for it. All right, answer number one looks great. Uh, four to the 24 is right there, so that one's good. Uh, four to the negative 23 is a new, because we got four to the 24. Uh, what else we got? Four to the negative 24, no, not in the numerator, because that's the same thing as that right there. So that's how they have it in the numerator. So no, and four to the negative 23 is also no. So in this case, when it says select all the expressions, in this case, it's only the first one that is correct. All right, next up, uh, multiplication. I like multiplication. Okay, multiplication, we're going to add exponents. So we got 3 to the negative 3 uh, plus negative 2. That's going to take us 3, negative 3 plus a negative 2. Ooh, that could be tricky. What about spending money? I spend $3 plus I spend another $2. Altogether, I spend negative 5. But what I might want to do is because we're going to select all the expressions, um, I'm going to turn this as a fraction as well. So let's take 3 positive and do a switcheroo on the negative sign. So let's make it positive 5. So these two are also something called equivalent. Now, with that being said, um, let's see what we got. First one, three to the sixth power. No. 
We don't want that. Okay, what they did is they tried dropping that second three, then multiplying like that. You don't do that. Same thing. Positive six power, no, because we're looking for a five. All right, here we go. One over three to the negative five. Well, I got one over three to the positive five. That one's also out. Once again, even though it says select all the expressions, uh, in this case, only the last one will be correct. Because it's the only one that works. But be aware that more than one could be correct. All right, uh, clear the board. We got, let's see, 12 to the negative 9 and 12 to the positive 9. So that's going to be 12 to the negative 9 plus 9. Negative 9 plus 9 is 12 to the 0 power. Anything to 0 power is only 1. All right, here we go. Uh, the first one of 12 is a new. One is perfect. Negative 81. No, that's power rule. We're adding because it's not power rule. So that one's wrong. And also a negative 81. Regardless, positive in the numerator, negative in the numerator doesn't matter. There's no 81s at all. So uh, it is only the second one. But be aware, once again, select all the expressions. So it can be more than one right answer. But in this case, once again, it's only that answer. It's only one of them. All right uh select all the expressions all right um this is the power rule so notice that there's two exponents for one number when that occurs you're going to multiply the two exponents together and when you do that you get five times zero which is three to the zero power and three to the zero power is also the same thing as do, 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 one all right let's take a look the first one could be correct because you can take three to the zero power and put it as one over three to the zero power. Now zero power can't be negative. Zero is zero. So you can call that negative zero or you can just put one over three to the positive zero. Okay. So the first one I'm going to say yes on. The second one, I'm going to work it out. So um, this is 3 to the first power, so 5 minus 1 is 3 to the fourth power, which I don't see any fourth power here, so that's a new. Uh, 3 to the fifth power times 3 to the 1 power gives us 3 to the sixth power. And once again, I don't see 3 to the sixth power, so that one's a no. And last but not least, is 3 to the fifth power? Definitely not, because 5 times 0 is 0. So this one was a little trickier. That was good. Um, change it out of the fraction, but there's no negative because x1 is 0. So once again, even though it says select all, there's only one correct answer. But check them all because it could be more than one right answer. All right. Uh, select all expressions that are equivalent to this beautiful equation. We got 4 to the second power plus i'm going to add because nine has its own base of four as well so plus nine and that's going to take me to four nine plus two it's eleven turn out the fraction just in case we need it so that would be one over four to the negative eleven and i think we should be able to figure out the answers from there and I'm going to just get rid of that little mark there. It's a straight mark. There we go. It's beautiful. All right. First answer choice, I got 1 over 4 to 11. Um, I have 4 to the negative 11. They are different. So the first one's a no. How interesting. The second one is 2 to the 22 power. That's way off. Second one's a no. Uh, the third one, 12 to the 11. And 3 to the 11, well, we can divide that. What's four, uh, 12 divided by 3? 12 divided by 3 is 4. And keep the powers the same, 4 to the 11. Wait a minute. we got a match. So the third one is correct. And because the third one is 4 to the 11, and the last one is literally 4 to the 11, the last two, in this case, are both the correct answer. So again, watch the words, select all. It could be more than one right answer.
And why did I get four? Because 12 divided three is four exponents stay the same. And how did I miss the second one? Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see what you use, check. Checking it, checking it, check. Here it is right here. Oh, because they have the same exponent. <laughs> they got me on that one. All right, I'll be ready for the next one. So yeah, when the exponents are the same, you do multiply just like I did the division one. So that was three out of four that were correct. All right, it happens. Um, being aware of the mistake though, let's try it again though. Okay, so I got four and four to stay the same. Five and four is gonna be addition. So I'm getting four to the nine and convert that to a fraction. It's four to the negative nine. All right, here we go. One multiply nine there is four to the positive nine. And that one's a match, so that's good. Second one is one over four to the positive ninth is a no because the nine is negative in the denominator. That does matter. The third one is when you have a four by itself, it's automatically an exponent of one, which means nine minus one gives us four to the eighth power. And we're definitely not to the eighth power. The third one is out. And the last one, four to the nine over four to the zero is four to the nine, subtract zero, which gives us four to the nine, which is also correct. Um, so I'm gonna say first and last are correct on this one. There we go, got some points back. Tricky, but fun. All right, next up, I got four to the, okay, power rule. See how the six doesn't have its own uh, base? So four is the base of five, but six is kind of a loner. So that's gonna be a power rule. That power rule means we multiply. So five times six, which gives us four to the 30th power. And you can also convert that to a fraction, one over four to the negative 30 power. And once again, let's see where that takes us and see it, how it helps out. Okay, first answer, they did addition five plus six. Uh, we're not falling for that because again, six does not have its own four, so new. Now this is the mistake I made last time. So when the exponents are the same, you do multiply the bases. So we have four to the 30th power. And that one is correct. See, I'm not falling for that again, I did learn. The third one is literally four to the 30th is also correct. That one's done. And one over four to the positive 30th is not the same thing as four to the negative 30. So the last one is a no. So second and third will be the correct answers this time around. All right, uh, next up, we have eight to the first power with the eight. Eight does not have its own eight. So two exponents in a row. That's going to be a power rule, which means eight to the first power multiply the eight. And that's going to take us eight to the eighth power. And in fraction form, that would be one over eight to the negative eight. All right. What happened? First step, we have a eight and an eight both match. So we do multiply the bases. So if two times four is eight, leave the exponent the same, eight to the eight. And that does match right there. So that is equivalent. That works. Uh, next up, one over eight to the nine. Mm, I don't know where they got the nine from, so no. One over eight to the positive eight, close, but the exponent needs to be a negative eight, which means it's different. And here they just did a switcheroo. They switched the eight and the one where up here was one and eight. So multiplication, the order doesn't matter. Eight times one is still eight and one times eight is still eight. So the last one is correct. So first and last on this one will be the correct choices. All right, heading up to 70. The problems are still pretty basic and easy, so i um, liking it so far. Um, exponents are the same, so we're good there. 
So let's do the 10 divide 2. 10 divide 2 is 5. Exponents are the same. It's 5 to the 5. And in fraction form, that's going to be 1 over 5 to the negative 5. All right, let's see uh, where we have a match. First one is uh, 2 to the 3, which gives me 5 to the 6 power. Uh, I don't know where that came from, so no. Second one, 5 to the 5 is beautiful because 5 to the 5 is 5 to the 5 there. Third one, 5 to the 5 over 5 to the 1. That is equal to 5 to the 5th power minus 1, which gives us 5 to the 4th power. And that is not a match. So we're not picking the third one. And last but not least, 5 to the 1st power to the 5th power. Uh, 1 times 5 is 5 to the 5. And that one matches great. So... Second and last one are the correct answers here. All right. Next up, looks like the X1s are getting bigger, but it's still the same thing. All right. Uh, same base, 8 and 8. We have 8 to the 36. And because it's division, we're going to subtract minus 9 equals 8. 36 subtract 9. 36 minus 9. I'm going to say 27. 8 to the 27. And break that down further into a fraction. That's going to be 1 over 8 to the negative 27. All right. Let's go on the hunt and see what we find. First of all, they tried dividing literally 36 by 9. That is a trap. We're not doing that. We subtract when it comes to division. Uh, we got to do some math here. So 8 to the third power times 9 because it's power rule. This is going to be 8. 3 times 9 is 27. And that one is a match. That one's great. Here we have the same exponents, which means we can combine the base. Eight, uh, 4 times 2 is 8. 27's match, 8 to the 27. That is also a match and a correct answer. And 8 to the 27, could it make it any easier? It's also a correct answer. So this one's going to be um, the last three are all correct. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Let's go for one more and see if we hit up to 80. All right. Select all expressions that are equivalent to 2 to the negative 18, 2 to the negative 6. Ugh. All right, um, I'm going to start with the switcheroo. Let's switch the exponents because switching them will make them both positive. So what we have is 2 to the positive 6 on top and 2 to the positive 18 on the bottom. So that gives us 2 to the 6 subtract 18. So we subtract because we're division. And that's going to give us 2, 6 minus 18. Careful, we're going to have negative because we say we have $6. We subtract 18. 6 minus 18, do, 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 negative 12. And if you want to put that in a positive fraction, it's 1 over 2 to the positive 12. All right, let's see what we got. First one, 2 to the negative 3 times 2 to the negative 1. Uh, add them together, that gives us 2 to the negative 4. Mm, that looks like a no. Next up, 2 to the 3. That also looks like a no. 2 to the negative 12. There's my match right there, 2 to the negative 12. That one looks great. And 2 to the positive 12 is not a match. They left out the negative, so... Even though it says select all, uh, only the third one here is correct. All right. With that being said, this concludes IXL D15, Identify Equivalent Expressions of All Exponents Part 2. So remember, if you had a hard time with this IXL, I'd recommend doing D14 first. Uh, you'd find it a lot easier because it you know, gets you practiced and ready for this one. Besides that, have a fantastic day.